Hello, everyone. My name is Zhao Tong. I'm from Hebei, China. My co-researchers are Dr. Lo Kokang and Dr. Maureen De Silva. I would like to thank the organizer of this conference to give me the opportunity to present my paper. The topic of my paper is the inheritance and the development of Chinese characters in dragon lanterns. My presentation has six parts. Let's start with the background of my study. The Qing Dynasty of China was a vigorous development period of the folk dances in Hebei, and a wide variety of folk dances were formed during that period. Folk dances are deeply rooted in the social and the cultural life of the people. The Chinese characters in Dragon Lanterns in Zhongyi village, Yixian County of Hebei province is popular among the people because its Dragon Lanterns could demonstrate a variety of Chinese characters and has been popular. The Dragon Lanterns performances are passed down by the Tomb Gardens and became a folk culture serving and conforming the people. The Chinese characters in Dragon Lanterns is a folk dance integrated with ornamental, entertaining and artistic values. Hence, it serves as an important reference to our research on the folk dance culture in Hebei province. Based on the background research of the inheritance and the development of the Chinese characters in Dragon Lanterns, there are three issues related that have been identified by the researcher as follows. Based on the research background of the Dragon Lantern's dance, it was found that the folk dance is encountering the following issues. The first issue is the lack of performers. The second issue is the lack of promotion. The second issue is the limitations of the development plan. Based on the above three issues, the first objective of this paper is to identify the historical evolution of the Chinese characters in Dragon Lantern's dance. Second objective of this study is to analyze the artistic expression from of the Dragon Lantern's dance based on the population's traditional culture and art. Secondly, to give suggestions in order to promote the Chinese characters in Dragon Lantern's dance. This research is based on the field survey methodology. In the process the field investigation, the data of the local customs and the conditions were collected. Next, the folk artists Liu Baoqi and Zheng Qingkun were interviewed, and the information collected were transcribed. Um, finally, this data are uh, analyzed this paper. Now, let's look at the first issue, the historical evolution of the dragon lanterns. The folk arts are usually inherited from masters to apprentices, as a current inheritance passed away one after another. The dragon lanterns seems less attractive to the marining youth, causing the traditional art to fade away and slowly left abandoned. Secondly, according to investigations, the inheritors Liu Baoqi and Zheng Qingkun both over 60 years old are usually responsible for organizing the 
performance activities of dragon lanterns in Zhongyi village, Yixian County. During folk activities and uh, festivals, they will organize practice and uh, performance sessions for the Dragon Lanterns teams using their spare time. Finally, there are three suggestions. Firstly, attention should be paid to the conservation and the protection of inheritors. The government can start from the field of education to attract more teenagers to learn Dragon Lantern's performance. We should also do a good job in the origin of the protection of the inheritance of the Dragon Lantern stones. Next, come by with the market to create a brand of the Chinese characters in Dragon Lantern's art. For example, the media can be used to send the video of the performance to each platform through the internet to create the art brand of the Dragon Lanterns. Thirdly, to promote the Chinese characters in Dragon Lanterns into the campus of schools and universities, it is necessary to protect and develop folk art to Dragon Lanterns into the classroom of schools and universities. It is necessary to set up a folk dance course to learn the characters of the Dragon Lanterns. We can return and inherit the original form. With the development of the times to change and innovate it, so that the Chinese characters in Dragon Lanterns in today's society plays a role of cultural transmission and display of China's historical civilization. Thank you very much.